What is up, homies? Welcome back to another reaction from Heroes Reforged. We are doing episode six. Uh, six. Of Marvel's yeah, What If. <laughs> I've lost track. I've lost track. We've done so many of these already. Uh, last week's episode was crazy. Marvel zombies attacked. Mm -hmm. Holy sh balls. It was a good time. Yep. Want to see the uncut reactions? You can go to patreon.com slash heroes reforged. And uh, we've got about three episodes left after this one. So we're nearing the end. We're like halfway through, basically. Did you, did you guys watch the trailer that they put out that was like, here's the back half of What If? No. I didn't either. I'm not into... No, I tried to stay yeah. away from it. We're, I feel like we were just talking about Spider-Man. Everything is over-advertised at this point. I don't yeah, need to see any more trailers for Eternals. I don't need to see another Spider-Man trailer. I don't... These movies are out in the next, like, three months. Just put the thing out and let us we, watch we, it. Well, the three of us, we're already in. And I, I'm yeah. sure yeah. that somebody right. either didn't watch What If or they forgot that it was coming out and then that trailer came out and maybe they saw it and they're like oh yeah and then they saw whatever and got them interested great yeah. like yeah the three of us it's like we're already watching it every week i don't yeah. want to see it i just want to no, see it i i really don't if there hey, look if there's any franchise in the universe at this point that does not need super mega advertising it's this franchise like anything marvel at this point is automatically just gonna get views no matter what people yeah. are gonna watch it uh, it's if, true. if you guys watching don't see a trailer reaction from us for something don't be sad because uh we're gonna watch it and review it anyway you guys ready to do this yeah be sure to check out our uncut patreon reactions where they're already all up probably so watch them there and uh patreon forever goodbye <laughs> all right here we go in three two one go what it is Oh, my favorite show. It is time for <laughs> What It Is It. <laughs> oh, no. Ponder the question. What if soda was called fountain drinks? A fountain drink. And how confused would you be? <laughs> <laughs> what It Is what It. Is it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. But change one step along oh. the way. And you could end He's up fully better. fleshed out now. I know, he's like talking to us. This is so cool. Yeah. Please, no gang signs. No, throw it up, I'm kidding. Yeah, peace, I love peace. I'd be out of a job with peace. Oh, they cut out the MySpace joke. I wonder why. Yeah. 90% <laughs> of the audience will be like, the what? Uh-oh. Oh! Bare-handed that missile. Oh, man. That's gonna be a wrap on this conversation. Yeah, yeah, you'd like that, wouldn't you? Because those plans were bankrolled by Stark Industries COO Obadiah. Stone. Boom! Yeah, boy. Dang! He outed Twist. him. Twist. Wire transfers, bank documents, phone records. Google it. I just dropped it all online. Damn! No Iron Monger either. <laughs> Happy with the right hook. With the haymaker. That's why I want you by my side 24 7 uh -oh. as my new CEO. Oh no. It's killers. <laughs> yeah. You're good. Uh -oh. I don't know, man. I, w I want. I wear the cheers to that. And it's my job to sniff out exactly what it is they want with them. And what it is. But nobody knows what it is. What? what? The hell? Uh -oh. Oh. Design choice. That's what? a oh, Japanese yeah. anime mech suit. Did you see that? <laughs> he said, "I like anime." That's that's Michael B. Jordan's influence. This is awesome, and a really interesting combination of characters. You know? Yeah. Never would have. Yeah. Never would have thought. Like, how is Wakanda going to enter this picture? You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> the drone's regulating processor is overclocked. You know, we need another power. Aww, it's good to hear Jarvis. him as Jarvis again. I know, it's good to yeah. hear him as Jarvis again. Yeah. What we need is vibranium. Uh, ah, here we go. go. This is where Andy Circus comes in. You just got to have the right hookup. I might have just the guy. Ulysses Claw. What? Mm, he's going to deal with Claw? Now that I know you mean business, we can move on to the good stuff. <laughs> they like de-aged him a little bit because it's so much yeah, further back in time than in Yeah, it's supposed it's supposed Age to be Wolf around yeah. what? 2008, 2010 yeah. somewhere in there. Yeah. What's going on here? We've been breached. Find them and lock them up. Breach. This is going to be this is going to be Black Panther. Oh, ah, yeah. yeah. Because T'Challa, according and to the Aguera. comics, yeah, T'Challa and Okoye started to be active as Black Panther and yeah. There you go. Sweet. There it is. It. There's our boy. Yeah, but his dad would have never died. No, but he still became Black Panther before his father died. Remember in Civil War, yeah. his dad was alive, but he was already Black Panther. 
Oh yeah. That's she right. had the suit. He had been active as the Black Panther. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. you get you get His dad old was enough. Old. Yes. T'Chaka was still king. Let me take the vibranium back where it belongs. Sorry, cuz that ain't gonna fly. Cuz oh, there he is. He's got the yep. claw Ooh. sound thingy. Ooh. Did he just kill him? Kill him? This is what uh, Obadiah Stane used. Why wear the uniform of your own oppressor? Oh man! For them, so good. Nah, you could burn it down. <laughs> Yo, Ooh. he's murdering everybody. All played out just as you predicted it. Would. Mother. Sure. So they've been working together for a while again. Yeah. Just like Damn, the movie Black Panther. Damn, dude. Oh no. And Rhodey and Black Panther. Dude, this is wild, dude. Stark is going to become a villain, maybe. Do uh, do everything he can to, to avenge Rhodey. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, There's look how young Shuri was. Yeah. Well, police are the law. I want justice. Oh, oh what? <laughs> oh what? Oh, Table to the face. Jesus. This, this music oh. still. Rips. Still slaps, homie. No way. <gasps> wow, Killmonger's murdering everybody. Jeez Louise. Crazy. And then he Ooh, scars and he himself. cuts a new Dude. scar. We're at war. You work for me now. Very bad. Oh, Ooh. shit. Very bad. Nothing that just happened is good. No. This is a, this is a nightmare scenario for so many reasons. Yeah. Oh, God. It's like Attack of the Clones all over again. He's, yep. And he's invading Wakanda with that shit. Wakandans are full of surprises. Uh, does Okoye become Black Panther? Dude. Because mm -hmm. Shuri's too young? Dude. Is that what we're about to see happen? Dude. Dude. Hachimama, oh, yeah, please. Come is, on. This is looking a lot like uh, that one scene in Black Panther. Hey. Hey, boy. Come on. Oh, he did. Oh, did you see that? He did not like that. It's like you said, Wakandans are full of surprises. Yep. yep. I expect nothing. Sorry, buddy. He's like, I'm gonna mm -hmm. kill this racist mother effer right now. In two seconds. Done. Uh -huh. In Jobu Syed, no children. You were led to believe that. I let us believe Ooh. that. T'Chaka gets confronted by... Oh. Connect them from the Jarvis AI. After that, we'll destroy them. The Americans won't have any vibranium left to rebuild. Why should we trust you with our people? You should not. You, should you not. shouldn't. You should not. Don't do it. 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 It's also cool seeing Yo! King and, King and Queen. Whoa. Whoa. Look at her dressed up. That's dope. <laughs> it's great to see King T'Chaka and Queen Ramonda in the same scene together because we never got to see yeah. Angela Bassett and having because he died in Civil together. War. But like, I don't want we, it. I don't want Americans invading Wakanda. We got to see Angela Bassett tear some robots up? Dude. Oh my God. That's scary. This is very Lord of the Ringsy. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. The colonizers are gonna colonize. Show them the true might of the U.S. military. Yep, that's the first thing he said. I'd much rather you join mm -hmm. me in celebration tonight. Know that mm -hmm. I'm about to murder this man. You'll always have a home in Wakanda. Mm -hmm. Hold on a little bit more than that. Oh no, 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 no. Nope. Stark Industries. He wants a throne. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. Oh. Oh. Yo, she's the first one over. Dang. Sweet. Woo. This would have been a crazy oh movie. My God. Wakanda forever. I don't believe you when you say that, Killmonger. I don't believe you. Yep. Saving their lives, but he definitely did. Cause he brought this Wakandans whole thing on. To lose their, yeah, to lose their lives. Like Wakandans are dying. I don't understand the angle here. Like he just wants to show that he's down with Wakanda yeah. by starting Wakanda. his own war and winning. In their trust that much. I love it. Guys, I think we might get something similar in Wakanda Forever. I think we may have characters uh, say yeah, for T'Challa. I know. And I, I am going to lose it. We're going to cry. I'm gonna, it's going to be a sob fest at that movie. Look at how sad the Watcher is. Me, be of service. He wants With to be. Herb, 
you shall become. No, that's why he wanted yep. it. That's what he wanted. He wants to be the Black Panther. Yep. Oh man, he's gonna see T'Challa. He's yeah. gonna see T'Challa. You are fake. Oh my God. Was it worth it? Ooh. It's gonna be a very volatile force, cousin. It will get the best of you eventually. On your plane or on ours. Ooh. That's pretty great. He's that's a pretty he's great final spiritual word. retribution over here. <laughs> what is this? The Avengers Initiative? What is what is this? I knew it. He killed Tony. Oh. Proof, 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 proof. Mr. Stack was a genius, but he's not the only genius. Are she's like an Iron Man suit. Oh, is she gonna be Iron Man? Is Shuri gonna be She's Iron gonna Man? She's gonna be Iron Man. I never really got. Oh, damn it, no. cool. They live forever. Heroes do live forever. As do the ones they inspire to carry on the fight. No! Yeah. Wow, oh, wow, wow, wow. Look at, how can you uh, end it there? Uh, I think, I think, oh I think God. along with the Marvel Zombies one, I think this will get a part two. If not in this season, in season two, I think it's, it's such an I amazing- I hope you're right, Hector. It's such I an interesting right, like, cause... like co combination of two different Marvel worlds and franchises, Iron Man and Black Panther. Like, to, yeah, yeah, just to see Shuri with Pepper, yeah. it's like, yeah, is Shuri going to get to Tony's workshop and build her own suit? Like, is she going to be like an Ironheart in this universe? Man, that was so, cool. Speaking, speaking of that, Hector, do you think season two will be episode twos of all of these episodes? Or do you think they'll present no, they, they said that some of it will be about... Uh, phase four as well. So, it'll so be is it safe to I assume that anything will get an episode two? It's safe to assume that anything could. I think. Yeah. Um, what are the episodes so far? I'll tell you which ones are not going to get an episode two. I think that Agent Carter will, Captain Carter will. Mm -hmm. I think T'Challa Star Lord will. The third episode was what if all the Avengers were killed by Hank Pym? I don't mm -hmm. think that will get. It, doesn't that feel like it had a little bit of an it, ending? It had like with the two I feel captains? like it had its own closure. Closure it had a major ending. Yeah. Episode four was Evil Strange. I don't. That could also be the ending to that. Yeah. Even if that character does, maybe mm -hmm. maybe that character pops up again. Excuse me, I'm burping because of my mm -hmm. Lacroix. Episode zombies, five was sure. zombies. Definitely getting a part two. Yeah. That Thanos yeah. zombie. Yeah. And then this is episode six, getting yeah. a part two. Dang. And then if there's other <sighs> episodes, like I wouldn't be surprised if we got an episode next season that is about Shang Chi. What if those events played out differently? He didn't what become if, the bear yeah, yeah, yeah. of the Ten Rings. I bet you we could see a version of uh, of what if Shang Chi stayed with Wen Wu in the Ten yeah, Rings, which would be so sick. That yeah, would that be dope. Been crazy. That would, that would be, be dope. crazy. Yeah, I love this episode, but yeah, I really, really wish it was a little bit longer, like just a little I, bit. I, longer. Absolutely, but, it, but it's just so tough because bit. like if it would have been a little bit longer, then it would, could have easily rolled into another 15, 20 minutes explaining oh, what yeah. happens with with yeah. Shuri and Pepper and. You know how do, how does that have a whole rippling effect across the universe? But it is it is interesting yeah. though that no matter kind of what the outcome, Eric Killmonger in some regard is always a bit of a villain in the universe. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I would Jordan, I would not. I would not say it's a bit of a villain. The dude like <laughs> yeah. the dude's intentions are true because it resonates with me the things he says about like he's fighting for people who are oppressed and and burning yeah. down the system and all this stuff. And I'm just like yeah. okay. But the way you go about it is really kind of, you know, kind of murdery, kind of, yeah. kind of <laughs> not right. Kind of killing to people. Put, yeah, yeah, yeah. To put him, uh, an African American guy in the U.S. military, up against Rhodey, who is also in many ways that same role and has had like similar yeah. experiences. Mm -hmm. That was a great little little distillation of those characters because he goes burn it all down and roadie's like you have to be a part of the system to change the system and i thought that was really interesting and i bet you yeah that could be what the show armor wars is about mm -hmm. is that roadie mm -hmm. for all mm -hmm. these years mm -hmm. you know these movies are very pro militaristic pro u.s military they have been approved mm -hmm. by the pentagon they have you know they've had these kinds of relationships all the way up to Captain Marvel and stuff. Yeah. But there's also mm -hmm. like an there's also like an anti-war streak in some of the messages, and I think Armor Wars right. could be Don Cheadle's last time as Rhodey potentially, and like he mm -hmm. passes off the torch to another character like Ironheart or whatever. And in that, he could be like, "I'm no longer military. I've been an Avenger. I can't, you know, I, I have to wrestle with these kinds of things, and I can't do it. And here's why." That was a great sort of pairing of two characters, and um, 
then it's almost like it should have had if it was longer it sh they should have leaned more towards like the closure mm -hmm. whereas now mm -hmm. i'm like i'm glad it ended where it did because i think we're more likely to get a full part two with what if there's already so much marvel but i'm like you know what season two should be double length <laughs> Like oh and season two should, should basically every episode be, should be one hour long. Yeah. Yeah. Every episode <laughs> should be an hour long and every episode should be either a part two to season one or a brand new what if, and then so yeah. on and so forth until, until season four yeah. is like 90 episodes. Cause they're just branching into all these different <laughs> things. They keep telling the story, but uh -huh. <sighs> I love it. I, I love have one show. more question for you guys. Okay. So at the beginning of this season, Watu was a uh, see through spirit in the sky. And we yep. are more than halfway through, and he is very much not that anymore. He looks right. like a giant standing on Earth. What do you guys think that means, if it means anything? Are we reading into it? Is he becoming more present to people on planet Earth because something big is coming? Will it have an effect mm -hmm. on the main MCU storyline? Any thoughts or theories? I, I, I think we'll none. see. I think we'll see Watu show up in a movie at some point. I think it's kind yeah. of inevitable. I, I don't think you bring and, in this character to just narrate an animated series. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but I think if they're really banking Don't you on, diss animation, Adam. Don't <laughs> you think, diss I animation. Think if, they're, if they're really like leaning into, these stories are a part of our Marvel Studios universe, then I feel like Watu mm -hmm. is going to play some sort of a key role at some point in these movies. You know, Maybe he's not right. going to be like a central character, but I feel like the Watcher will have to show up somewhere. If not in Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness... And I don't know where. Fantastic Four? Fantastic Four, oh, I Fantastic hope. Fantastic Four, uh, yeah. Maybe. maybe. Plus, plus, that's the thing about getting Jeffrey Wright. Like, get him to voice exactly. this character forever mm -hmm. and then just yeah. do CG versions yeah. of the character in the live-action movies. Mm -hmm. I also think, you know, we've seen rumors, and I didn't quite click on the new trailer, but I've seen people talking about stuff, and I, I think that by the end of this episode, there may be some oh, this crossing. By the end of the season, yeah. by the end of the season... Yeah, there may be some crossing over of characters from these different alternate realities. They're telling us Uatu must not interfere, must not interfere. I think by the end of this season, he, he is going to be like, wait, like he is going to interfere the I'm way he talks. Like Doctor the event Strange. is too big that he cannot. Some, yeah, something, yeah. something, you know, and j just so that just so that viewers like us will be like, oh, dang, that's such a moment. He wasn't supposed to do that. That's what the comics did. You know, I, I have mean, vowed never he, to interfere. He did they did hit it not hit it pretty hard but that one moment where in doctor strange doctor strange yeah he's like i would i would tell him something but i don't think he'd listen anyway like yeah it's in him that he could step in and he wants to step in and then there's going to be a breaking point where he does step in it's going to be crazy I, I, to I see love what that, that moment that actually is this voyeuristic character in the comics, the thing that made him actually want to interfere was that Galactus was coming to Earth and he had been watching mm -hmm. Earth and he just had grown to like Earth and humans that he told mm -hmm. Mr. Fantastic, he's like, hey, I got to send your brother-in-law to, <laughs> to go get this ultimate nullifier from space just to come back. Like, he goes, I feel so bad yeah. for you guys. You shouldn't have to die at Galactus's <laughs> mouth, you know, yeah. eating the planet. So it, maybe the inspiration of these other heroes will, will be the thing that inspires Jeffrey Wright's Uatu to be like, I, I hope so. Too. <laughs> mm -hmm. I really hope so. I hope there's Ooh. something. Yeah. Well, we'll find out hopefully in three episodes, seven, eight, nine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I want to know what it is. It. What it is. What it is. <laughs> Let us know in the comments below some of your theories. Where do you think it's going to end up? What characters do you think are going to end up crossing over? Maybe in the season finale. Who knows? What do you think? Let us know in the comments below. Check out the uncut reactions on Patreon. Because Patreon forever. And goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. <laughs>